All right, welcome back, everyone. We're going to give a recap to Nolan and everyone listening. So, um, and Jackie, please chime in. Um, chime in, every, everyone. So we've, we're kind of operating at two levels right now in terms of our focus. Um, one is what we call the conversation, how to save life on Earth, which could have myriad different answers. The main answers we're, folk, we're most interested in are the class of answers that are what we're calling a hyper solution, which is a whole set of solutions, including a strategy for implementation, as well as an implementation plan. That's the ideal answer to the conversation, right? How to save life on earth. Give me a great hyper solution, please. Well, we feel like we have a great hyper solution called Operation Stone Soup with three phases. Feed everyone, go collectively super intelligent, and then cool the planet through planetary scale SRM using the CSI. Um, <clears throat> how to feed everyone? We're in, uh, we're, that's what we've been talking about the most in the last few weeks is how to do that. And we've talked about starting in one city with a press conference. Today, we've been mostly focused on um, building out a community of communities. Welcome back, Maida. A community of communities, and those communities would be what we're referring to as feeder communities. What's a feeder community? A feeder community is any community, large or small, that is feeding people. Could be an agricultural community, could be a community garden in an urban area, <clears throat> um, could be someone who's just feeding their neighbors, could be a church, could be, you know, on and on and on. Could be a supermarket that donates food, right? Um, and actually a supermarket is a feeder community that feeds a whole bunch of people, they just charge money for it, right? Um, so building this community of communities and then basically saying, all right, community of communities, we're all the feeder, we are the feeders of the world. Let's get together and basically finish the job, right? With whole food, plant-based diets, et cetera, et cetera. Reinventing the networks that have already collapsed and are already collapsing. <clears throat> Alrighty, Myra, you got your hand up, go for it. Just wanted to ask really quick, is it daylight over there still? Um, the, the, there's, there's still light in the sky. And that's because we're, <clears throat> that's because we're so far north that, you know, we have long, we have long summer nights, but then we have shorter winter nights. So it's kind of more extreme. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. So it's almost 9 p.m. over there, and there's still light in the sky. Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> you look like you're making a commercial there. <laughs> Do you have to pay extra for that light? Yeah. The 9 yeah. o'clock light? Everything's monetized here. You just just pay extra. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, so put together this community of communities, share information, best practices, solutions, ideas, what plants to grow, how, where, how to do permaculture, all the way to, you know, socioeconomic models whether money-based or gift economy or, you know, whatever form, right? And um, so all the different feeder communities coming together to share in this way and essentially create an open source, um, you know, universe of, of solutions and components and resources and expertise. So this would be the basis of a collective intelligence. Um, which would also um, focus on, you know, sharing, expertise, consulting. You have a question, you know, you, you need help, you know, whatever. And this could go for anything from, from 
consulting via Zoom to actual volunteer projects where a bunch of people show up on a Saturday and, you know, dig up a bunch of soil and prepare a community garden, whatever, right? So um, it's, it's, it's not just a collective intelligence, it's a whole support community, right? Committed to making sure everyone has plenty to eat. And some, some teams and groups are focusing on the very short term, others are looking way ahead to the long term. Some are focusing on like computer modeling so that we can have an integrated computer model of planet Earth and our best projections for you know, where we're headed the next you know, six to eight months so that people can plan for crops and all that and, and essentially turn it into this uh, massive multiplayer computer game of, you know, let's green the earth, feed everyone, and, you know, in a later stage of the game, do SRM, planetary scale SRM. Um, so, anyway, so the, but, so the strategy, remember, the, hype, the ideal hyper solution has a strategy. Start off with focusing on building the community of communities and the topic and the goal of feeding everyone right that's a very popular topic it'll bring in a bunch of people we'll all work together we're all falling in love with each other and falling in love with the mission and rediscovering this family we didn't know that we you know got separated from at birth and um <laughs> here we are reunited loving it and inviting the rest of the world to join uh and we've had you know two or three or four new people today and that's been really interesting uh, and good. And, uh, and then the old guard has just forged ahead. Um, and James had to go out and get a new cell phone. So he was gone for most of the day and then got back very late. Now it's getting light over there in Cork. And so he is just falling asleep right now. So he's falling asleep to the sound of my voice. Brings a tear to my eye. Anyway, um, so anyway, back to the, the strategy of the hyper solution of, of Operation Stone Soup. Get everyone together on the whole food thing, right? And what great training wheels for collective superintelligence. Food! Everybody gets it, right? We co-evolved with crops. So we get it, we get it, we get it. And it's all very natural and organic and all that good stuff. So what a great backdrop. Remember Nolan, you know, Preston's like AI modeling nature and all that, and that was like a really good fit, right? Well, this is nature, us working with plants and all this kind of stuff and eating and all that, that's nature. So it's, it's just a really good fertile soil for developing CSI <clears throat> versus, versus like SRM, which is not so much nature. I mean, it's physics, but it's not like organic growing living nature. Um, so that's not such great training wheels for developing CSI, but great problem to turn the CSI onto once it's developed to, the, to a sufficient extent. So hence the strategy. Food, CSI, SRM. In 10 letters, 10 letters, not 10 words, 10 letters, we have nailed the strategy. QED. <laughs> All right. And who were um who were the new folks today? So Shankar brought a couple of friends. And prior to that, let's see, there was a gal on who was a friend of, um, who was that gal a friend of? Uh, I forget. Anyway, there's a gal down in Mexico. Oh, Ugo. I think it was Ugo's friend down in Guadalajara. Um, but I think she's American, Tracy. Anyway, so had a good chat with her and every time like a new person would show up we'd kind of go through and give the overview it again so it's it's been really good practice <laughs> right <laughs> um and 
let's see. And Will Tuttle stayed on for about 57 hours. I mean, he just dropped off a little, a little while ago. Um, but I mean, he, he, was, he was listening in while he was doing other stuff. And he's this very well-known vegan, uh, vegan writer. Um, and super cool. Oh my goodness. He, he was, he was the guest speaker again on the divine feminine and just an incredible segment. Um, <clears throat> let's see who else do we have? It feels like there may have been one or one or two other new, new faces. Um, let's see. I think during divine feminine, someone may have popped in. Uh, anyway, but it's, it's been, been, been a good good mix today. And I'd like to add that um, what a way to start this mission with Will Tuttle's um, speech this morning. His talk was powerful. It was raw. It was real. It was truthful. He was calling out institutions. I mean, and then we lead right into, well, this is why we're here and this is why we're doing what we do because we can't trust institutions and this is why we have to do with grassroots. It was just a perfect segue into what we were doing because he came out full. I've never actually had, and I've had, I've invited him to speak several times. This was one of the most powerful direct talks that he's given. And it goes right in line with what we're doing. I was just like, this is perfect. Awesome. Awesome. I have to watch some of that. Yeah, me too. I'll definitely have to catch that when under the recording anyway. All righty. Well, in the spirit of good health and compassion and all that, I think I'll turn it over to Nolan. And Nolan, if you want to make Jackie co-host, Jackie and Myra, or whatever you want to do, go for it. So let me... Uh, here, let me just stop recording on my end. <laughs>